everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and today I wanted to just do a little update video because there's been so much happening in my life this week and I felt like I have been neglecting on filling you in as to what I'm doing like day to day and so here we go. So on Sunday I got to do some Grammy coverage. I did a live stream and it was like four hours long which felt like forever but like while I was doing it it felt like 10 minutes uh, with Pop Sugar and I got to host their live stream viewing party and it was really fun and I had special guests and things like that. So many of you guys tuned in so thank you for watching. If you want to see that I think there are clips over on Pop Sugar Girls Guide. The link is below. Um, but I also got to film right after I did that I got to go and film some Grammys after show stuff that was on TV Guide channel so that was on TV. So thank you for watching that if you saw it. I was tweeting about it and uh, a lot of you guys were sending me pictures and screenshots and things like that. So to me it's really fun because I get to tell all my like family and friends from home back in Michigan like oh tune into this and you can see me on TV and to them it's like crazy cool and I, yeah, it's crazy cool to me but like to them it's just like I get to do something cool that people just at home can't believe and I'm like yes that's cool I can do that. Overall I liked the Grammys although I kind of just wish that there were more queens of pop there. I mean yes Beyonce and Katie were there but I am also here for like Miley and Britney and Christina and Gaga and Demi and Selena and Fifth Harmony and all of my queens. I just want them all there together and Rihanna and Kesha. Did I say those two? I don't know if I said them but like every queen of pop I just wish the Grammys could be about them. I understand there are other genres of music but I am just over here in the queen of pop land. Let me just live there happily. <sighs> that is what I love. But honestly, I died when Beyonce was writhing up there because surfboard, okay? That's all you need to know. Surfboard. Speaking of Queens of Pop, I got to go to the Miley Cyrus Unplugged concert with my buddies Ricky and Connor and JC and Mandy and we got to sit front row which was pretty amazing. I love Miley. She was probably the queen of pop in 2013. It was great. Her live vocals were basically incredible. Like I haven't heard somebody just deliver live vocals like that in forever. So I really appreciated it. Miley, congratulations Shayla. You were incredible. Also speaking of the Queens of Pop, I got to host a Fifth Harmony event today which was pretty insane and epic. Things that I never thought I would do, especially considering I was rooting for them back in the day, back on X Factor when they were going by like Lilas and what else did it, were they called? 1432 and things like that. I, I have loved them forever and Miss Moving On is incredible and Me and My Girls is incredible and I got to go host this event which basically consisted of me doing a Q&A with them and hosting the live stream and introducing the girls to sing brand new music. I guess it's like it boggles my mind that I get to do stuff like this because I just it, I adore them and the girls are incredible because yes they are talented and stylish and beautiful and kind and nice and just amazing overall generally amazing which a lot of celebrities are but I think my number one quality when I think about like my favorite thing about any celebrity is their presence and if they're there when you're talking to them and you can tell that they're paying attention that's my number one thing and a few celebrities have had that with me like Darren Chris has had that uh, Fifth Harmony has that and the the artists that have that I, I think are the that's the, like, the thing that sets somebody apart so I I loved that. Thank you for tuning in if you watched the event. It was really fun and I hope I get to do a lot more things like that because that type of stuff is fun to me. I also had a couple collaborations come out this week. I did one with Puppet Sloth, which is a sloth puppet, obviously, but basically it's about a puppet that is a sloth who interviews you about a cause that you enjoy and I don't think I've ever laughed that hard in a interview. I think it says something about how thirsty I am because even in a collaboration with a sloth puppet, there was still sexual tension somehow. I don't know how, but it happened. The link to that is below, so go click that and check it out and give it some love. I also did a collaboration with my boys Scott and Mitch from Superfruit. They are two of the boys from Pentatonix. They are hilarious and incredible. We did a Q&A and their cat crawled all over me and that was super fun too. You get to hear me sing if that's of interest to you. The link to that is also below. And I did an exclusive interview in my apartment with my buddy Paolo. He interviewed me and asked me some really good questions. So if you ever want to see an, a more in-depth interview that's a little longer with a little game in it, you can check that out. And uh, the link to that is also below. It was really fun, so give that some love too. What else happened this week? The Fault in Our Stars trailer came out. Basically, I felt every emotion and then I immediately got on Twitter and yelled at John Green and told him that he made me cry again. So thank you, John Green, for making that happen. What else is happening in my life? I know I'm doing something. Tomorrow, I, I'm literally an idiot. Tomorrow I am headed to New York. I am getting in an Uber bright and early, heading to the airport and getting on a flight to New York City. 
and I'm gonna go and try to enjoy the cold. Even though it's freezing, I'm sure I have been told to pack my bags really well with warm clothes because it's freezing still apparently on the East Coast. Things we don't have to deal with in LA, but I am going to the Super Bowl with Pepsi. Uh, I got to go with them last year and it was super fun. I got to meet Hunter Hayes and be in a Beyonce commercial. And this year I am headed there with a whole bunch of fun surprises. So if you want to see exclusive details as to what I'm doing at the Super Bowl, the link to that is below. And there's gonna be a whole bunch of fun surprises. So be sure to follow Pepsi on Twitter and track the hashtag Pepsi Halftime. I'm gonna be tweeting with it along with like Facebook updates and Instagram updates and Twitter updates. I'm gonna be letting you know every exclusive detail as to what I am to at the Super Bowl with Pepsi and a whole bunch of YouTubers, so stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun weekend. I'm really excited to go back to New York. I love New York. I love anytime I get to go to New York, it's really fun. I have no clue who's even playing in the Super Bowl, honestly. I didn't even think about that. Um, I'm rooting for the halftime show. The Pepsi halftime show is always great, and Bruno Mars is performing, and last year was Beyonce, which slayed, so I have no doubt that Bruno Mars is going to deliver above and beyond. I love Bruno Mars. Plus, he's like my height, which I appreciate. Nobody is our height. I am like five but nothing, so I, I, you know what? Thank you, Bruno Mars, for representing us short girls, okay? Thank you. P.S. I am so excited, you guys. Uh, next week, I am going on a little trip, but also what's happening next week, my buddy Corey is moving to Los Angeles. I moved to San Francisco with him uh, back in the day, like three years ago now, to San Francisco from Michigan, and I moved down to LA, and he stayed there, but now he is moving down to LA to be with me. Not to be with me, but like, to be friends with me again. <laughs> we did the best friends challenge together. We did the chicken nugget challenge together. We We've opened a whole bunch of fan mail together. So you guys are gonna be seeing a whole bunch more of him and I together. I am so excited to have him. But what else? I feel like I just gave you a million things to check out below, but check them all out. So check them all out below. The links are gonna be in the description and um, this video is just a long me ramble session. I hope that's okay. Honestly, whatever. If it's not, you're gonna have to deal with it. That's my new signal. You're gonna have to deal with it. And if you've dealt with it, push the thumbs up button. <laughs> Wait, if you really did deal with it, push the thumbs up button. If you watched this long, I wanna know who has watched me ramble for this long. Push the thumbs up button, that's gonna let me know who has watched this long. The rest of the Frick Frackers, they can just get, okay? They're not in our club. <laughs> okay, that's all. Later, y'all.